So I have heard more and more people lately talking about how the dating apps are getting worse. And I came across this article on LinkedIn by Lisa Cunningham, a blogger at Savvy Dating Blog. And I'll show you the, um, the cover of it and then I'm going to read it to you. So here's her article, and I'm going to read it to you now. It happened again. My online dating saga has taken a twist, and the guy I was chatting with quickly turned into a creep without manners. I realize that I'm dealing with complete strangers on the dating apps, but seriously, how do these people function in our society when they make every comment about sex? You'd think by the time someone is in their 50s, he would have learned better social skills. It really makes me feel like I'm wasting precious time talking to anyone on the apps because eventually the pervert will come out. The shallow hell who wants an FK buddy, not an equal partner. Are we still in high school or even college? By midlife, you'd think people would have better social skills better communication techniques. Yes, I realize they've been divorced and have traumas that occurred either during a marriage or way back in their childhood. But does that mean you turn into a dirty old man? Would you let your mother or sister read any of these messages you sent to women? The thing is, the apps make it easy to forget you're dealing with a living, breathing human being who has feelings and issues just like you. You can zoom through a bunch of profiles and no time with very little information to decide if you want to get to know someone or not. In fact, more and more singles I have chatted with online are totally fed up with the apps too. I just learned that Hinge is actually owned by Match, so I'll likely have the same issues on Hinge that I once did on Match which was accused by the federal government of posting fake profiles just a few years ago. Apparently, Match cleaned up its act before it had to pay a huge fine, but Match is just one example of how the dating sites operate. And believe me, I've tried almost every one of the apps, even Catholic Match. They're filled with people who don't know what they want in a partner and can't communicate beyond how is your day going? If you ask them a deeper question, they disappear like a thief in the night. This latest dude kept asking, do you like having sex? He had no interest in knowing me, getting to know me as a person if, as if I was a prostitute. Thankfully, I have decent self-esteem or I'd be very insulted. I just chalked it up to his being a moron and I told him we weren't a match. The hookup culture is everywhere, and I blame some women for allowing it to happen. They don't seem to mind if a guy pressures them into having sex before they're ready. I tried that once. He didn't respect me afterward. Lesson learned, never do that again. After the Me Too movement and everything else that's happened in the last 60 years, you'd think women would have a little more respect for men. I mean, you'd think men would have a little more respect for women, sorry. <laughs> now I know there are good guys out there, but I feel as if I'm hunting a unicorn. 30 years ago, it wasn't this hard to meet nice guys. Was that just because I was younger? No, I don't think so. Our society has changed in ways that are not beneficial for daters, I'm sorry to say. Um, then I'm going to skip a few paragraphs. When the apps first came out in the early 2000s, they were fun. You answer questions that were often kooky or kinky and okay cupid. But I was able to meet guys and had at least ha at least have a couple of dates with one of them, even if we weren't soulmates. I wasn't getting nude photos and nasty comments on a regular basis. In the last 10 years or so, though, almost too many dating apps have been created, and they're mostly owned by just a few companies. So they use the same algorithms which have never been proven scientifically to work when matching up real humans. 
These apps first and foremost want to make a profit. Thus, they will hound you to the grave once you give them your email address, trying to convince you to subscribe for six months, a year, or the rest of your life. I'm not kidding. They're not actually interested in you finding a soulmate as long as they have a dozen or so couples who got married that they can use as testimonials. For the rest of us fools, it's an endless game of scrolling, scrolling, scrolling until you're ready to throw your win phone out of the window and scream. It's a little sick on how they prey on lonely people. It's also tempting to sign up for three or four sites at once, hoping to cover all your bases when actually you'll see a lot of the same people looking for love. You may even see the guys you saw a year or two ago using a different name and photos. It's just sad. This time, I think my break with the apps will be permanent. In the past, I'd stop using them for a few weeks or a month, but then loneliness and boredom would lure me back. Then she talks about going to meetup groups and having a lot of interest. And I finally realized that even though it gives me a little charge to get a new message from a new guy on the app, 95 times out of 100, he won't be someone I'm even mildly interested in dating. I'd rather not put myself to the revolving door anymore. It's way too exhausting emotionally. And that is, guys, you think women have all the luck when it comes to dating. And it's not um, any better for us online than it is for you. And, and I have another tip from someone who has never been on a dating app. Actually, a very good-looking guy who um, he is a good-looking guy. He's not interested in dating right now. Um, he suggests that guys go to farmer's markets. Farmer's markets are a great place to meet people. And you have to be able to have a conversation. A tip he gives is for you guys is talk to a woman the way you would talk to some guy. If you were to go up to some guy at the farmer's market and go, hey, you know those new wheels on your car, they're pretty cool. Talk the same way to a woman, get used to talking to people. It's best to meet people in real life. I keep talking to more and more people who are just done. I, I find the dating apps annoying anyway. Um, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. See you next time.